The first app we'll take a look at then is Cardia. Now Cardia is a device that's designed to mimic the results of a single lead ECG and it comes with this really handy device. The patient places their fingers on the device for 30 seconds, connects their device to their mobile phone and they'll be able to record a 30 second ECG trace, single lead. And the idea that is that it's used to detect AF, atrial fibrillation. The process has been through research, it's got a CE mark, and it's been shown to have an 85% sensitivity for detecting AF and a 90% specificity. It's been reviewed by NICE and had favourable reviews there, and they feel that it's most likely to be valuable when we're able to share the device with cohorts of patients that may be at risk of developing arrhythmias, kind of in place of where we currently use ambulatory ECG monitoring. What I particularly liked about this, though, is the ease of use. Both the device and the app that comes with it is so intuitive. Simple for the patient, hold your fingers there. The trace looks like a standard one lead ECG trace. Very easy for a GP to interpret. And if the patient wanted to get a private review, it costs just £5 as an in-app purchase to have it reviewed by a cardiophysiologist. So that's dead handy as well. Once the patient's recorded their trace, they have the option to track the results. They can track them over time. They can link Cardia up with other health apps from the Google Fit Library. So things that come on to height, weight, blood pressure. And then the other thing that you can do is encrypt the ECG and email it to a person of your choice, most likely your GP or cardiologist. So overall, I think a really, really great app, dead easy to use. Downsides are cost, it's not free. The device costs £99, so it's costly. But I think the fact that it's not a sign, it's not linked to just one device, that you can share it amongst others and perhaps have a few of these to loan out to patients, I think it could be potentially more cost effective than having access to ambulatory ECG monitoring and could be a much quicker way to get those results. Long term though, I think if you're a CCG watching this, the other option is whether something like this could be used for AF screening. I realise we're not quite there yet, but I think there's great potential for using this in the future.